Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 25th tutorial in this course. And in this tutorial, we're going to make a program that's going to work with three numbers and it's going to tell us the largest of the three numbers, right? So we're going to use the if statement, the else statement, the else if statement, relational operator. So in a way we are actually, you know, going to sort of put into use all the things that we've been working with over the last four or five tutorials. So I have a file opened up in my text editor and this one's called largest.php. On line number six, I have the opening PHP tag. And uh, then again, this is a long file. On line number 29, I have the closing PHP tag. And uh, I've created three numbers. Let me actually you know, put these on one line so that I don't have to scroll too much down to show you guys the entire script file. So I've got an if statement on line number eight. By the way, the values and the names of the variables you can see. So the first variable is called A, it has the value 15. The second variable is called B, it has a value five. And the third variable is called C, it has a value 100. So out of these three values, obviously 100 is the largest. So we should see the message C is the largest, you know, when we execute this file, just the way it is. So I've got an if statement on line number eight, which is going to check whether the value in variable A is greater than the value in variable B. So that's how we start. We just pick two variables out of the three variables and we make a comparison between them. And if this is the case, then A will be the largest of the three variables if A is also greater than C. So we've already checked whether A is greater than B. If that is the case, if this condition evaluates to true, then we just need to check whether A is greater than C. If that also evaluates to true, then we're going to display the message A is the largest. However, if this if statement fails, that is if A is not less, uh, not greater than C, then that would mean that C is the largest because we've already checked uh, that you know whether a is greater than b or not and now if a is not greater than c that means c is greater than a as well as b and that's why we're going to display the message c is the largest and if this condition fails then we are going to jump to the else if statement on line number 19 wherein we're going to check uh, whether b is greater than c or not so this would fail only if b is greater than a so now we need to compare the values of b and c so if that is the case, then we'll display the message B is the largest. And if that's not the case, then it means that, you know, both these uh, conditions, you know, the one on line number eight has failed, the one on line number 19 has failed. So that means that C is the largest of the three variables, right? So I'll save the file and I'll go to my browser and uh, search for largest. I guess that's the name of this file. And there we go. We see the message C is the largest. And I'm going to change the values uh, a bit. So I'll make this 150, save the file and refresh the page in my browser. Now I see A is the largest. And if I would change the value of B to 500, save the file and refresh. Now I see the message B is the largest, right? So all these scenarios have been covered uh, properly. And this was, you know, a file that I uh, shared with you guys because I wanted to sort of put to use everything that we have been discussing over the last few tutorials, relational operators and decision constructs and, you know, similar things. So that's it for now. Uh, I hope you had uh, fun watching this tutorial and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video in which we'll discuss something interesting and important for sure again. And uh, that's it. Take care.